Yo, what up YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into my channel. My name is Kevin Pack. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to optimize your listing. So we'll go over why it is so important to optimize your listing, what that even means, and how to actually do it. Now, before we get into this video, I wanna take a moment to honor Kobe Bryant. I'm sure you guys have already heard the news. Um, me and my friends over the weekend were devastated. The day really felt numb. It was kind of weird. It didn't seem real. It doesn't even seem fathomable. You think of Kobe Bryant, you don't. You think of somebody who seems immortal in a way because he's just so amazing. I grew up watching Kobe Bryant as a kid and um, I watched a lot of basketball when I was a kid, but as I grew up, I didn't really watch it as much. I more paid attention to how strong his mentality is and his big belief, that, that Mamba mentality of what it takes to be great and how you can be great. It was kind of different learning about the news and don't want to bring this video down too much but just want to take a moment to honor Kobe Bryant and along with his family and the other lost loved ones so thank you Kobe Bryant for everything and teaching us what it means to be great hopefully we can carry your legacy on within ourselves I know for myself I'm going to carry it on all the way through because I'm a big believer in being the best at whatever you can be so once again thank you Kobe all right, now that I got my feelings out the way, we're gonna start this video up. So what does it mean to optimize your listing and why do we wanna do this? So optimizing your listing is making sure that your product listing on Amazon is as convincing to the buyer as possible. We want them to be able to click on our listing, look through our pictures and decide to buy based off of just our pictures, titles, features and all that good stuff so if you got some janky pixelated images for your main image two features and like a one sentence description you're not going to be very convincing to the customer so we'll go over some tools that i use to help me optimize my listing along with how i'm doing it and of course we're going to be using helium 10 and before i hop onto the computer i'm going to show you guys my sale so far all right it's january 27th boom it is the evening and we've got about 23 sales, almost $600 today, and over $12,000 in the past 30 days. Oof, slow month for January, but I'm super excited for things to pick up in February. I can feel it just going, 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 so I'm gonna do whatever I can to help that. And so we're on Helium 10 right now. We're gonna be going over the tools that are necessary for this. First off, we got Cerebro, Magnet, Scribbles. These are the main ones that we're gonna be using for our listing optimization. So I'm gonna quickly go over the tools and what we're gonna use them for and why it's necessary to help us. So first off, Cerebro. Cerebro is a reverse ASIN lookup and this is where we're gonna steal our competitors keywords and use them to help us make sales. If we know what keywords they're making sales from, we can use those and try to put ourselves up there. And if we know what our keywords are, we're gonna put them into our title, into our listing, into our features, back end, everywhere. So this is why Cerebro is very, very important. Along that, we wanna find those keywords that are really relevant to our product. So we use Magnet Keyword Research to find us more keywords that would be relevant and would be likely to convert sales. The more relevant a keyword is, the more likely a customer will see our product and buy that product. And finally, Scribbles. This is the literal listing optimizer where we want to make sure that all of those keywords that we got from Cerebro and Magnet are in our listing somewhere. Now let's take a look at some examples. I'm going to show you guys a listing that looks bomb as hell that you guys should definitely take notes from. And then another listing that uh, I'm going to trash on. So we're going to use that eyebrow epilator example again. This is a decent product, has potential, but can only work if you guys can differentiate this strongly. I haven't been able to figure it out, so if you have, go crazy. Now, if you have Helium 10, shout out, I got discounts below. So if you guys want to use them, holla at the description. But if you have Helium 10 already, you're going to see on the corner of every listing you're on an evaluation result. Now, what is this evaluation result? What it does is evaluate the listing on a scale of one to 10 to see if the product meets all of the required criteria for it to be likely to make sales. So if you got a low score, that means there's something wrong with your listing and you could improve upon it so you can actually increase your conversion rate and make sales. So let's go over all the good around here. Why is this a good listing, a good example? If you hover your mouse over that evaluation score, you'll see what it's counting. 
and you'll see what's good about it and what's missing about it. So the number of images, it has to be seven or more images. This product has it, great. The main image is on a white background, which it is, it's great. The image dimensions need to be greater than a thousand pixels, and it is. Moving on to the listing, the character count, the title, they dinged it because it's shorter than 150 and has 143, which might as well give it to them. They probably could fit in a couple more words and they'll actually clean this up and it probably would be a perfect 10 out of 10. Bullets, they have at least five bullets. Description, they have enhanced brand content in there. The review rating is at least a four and above and they have a minimum of 10 reviews. So with all of these criteria, it's likely that your listing is really, really good and it has a higher chance of actually making sales. So taking a look at the main image, it looks really crispy. Look at that. I mean, just super clean, crispy. You see all the details. Got a little bit of sparkle in action up in here. A really clean 3D render of its packaging. Like, guys, adding your custom packaging into your images is a great way to differentiate your product and make it look a lot more high quality and very attractive to the eye. So that's the last little pro tip right there. Don't be too basic and just put it on a white background. You definitely want it on a white background, but add a little bit of spice to it, you know? Add something that's going to pop at the customer a little bit more. You don't want a listing that looks boring. You want something that's really gonna catch the customer's eye for them to click on it. Because once they click on it, you're already gone through the first step. The next step is the conversion part. Now their photos look good, they have great infographics, a lot of benefits out of it, and a lot of lifestyle pictures as well. Let's go to their features. Are they talking about the benefits and not just the features of the product? Although on Amazon, those bullet points are considered features, we don't wanna talk about features. We don't wanna talk about the dimensions of this product, of this epilator and how it's like five inches long. That doesn't matter. We wanna talk about how it's painless, that it's precise, that it makes you beautiful and your eyebrows looking clean as hell. Like you want to talk about those benefits first of how it's gonna help that customer before you talk about the features. So precise trimming, painless, easy to use. That's definitely a benefit. Safe and effective, portable and lightweight. And everyone puts at the end, the customer satisfaction. It's kind of just a given. So overall, this listing is fantastic. And if we scroll down, enhanced brand content. Now the only way to get enhanced brand content is if you're brand registered. And the only way you can be brand registered is if you have a trademark. Shameless plug, my course is finally complete. It's all done and it will be available this Saturday, February 1st at 10 a.m. And in the course, I teach you guys a hack of how to get enhanced brand content on your listing without brand registry and how to get brand registry in two weeks and not have to wait nine to 12 months for a trademark to approve. All that stuff, classified info only available in my course all right back to the main stuff over here man okay so ebc looks great descriptions look great reviews they got they got plenty of reviews here 800 reviews and at least a four star rating if you guys have anything less than a four star rating oh boy you better find a lot of people to give you more five star ratings to bump you up or your product is gonna have a lot of trouble now let me show you guys an example of a bad listing okay this is kind of the same product but the evaluation score is a five out of 10. Now let's see why. So they got seven more images, but the main image is not under a white background. So you got dinged a lot of points. The picture is big enough though. The character count on the title is enough. They got enough bullets, but their description has fewer than a thousand and they don't have EBC. Their rating is under four and they have less than 10 reviews. So you can see from here, this listing, I mean, they're not even making any sales. Look, let's take a look at how many sales they're making compared to the other one. This person is doing three sales a day, making $20 a month. Boom. But if we take a look at this person right here, Lord Jesus, $51,000 a month. Oh my God, over 2,000 units sold per month. Oh, see, and you know why? Because they have a fantastic presentation with their listing versus this this is embarrassment. This, this makes me want to throw up. Main image is not under a white background. I mean, we got this fake girl up in here. I do like the touch of this little bit of um, watery background effect, graphic effect. That is good. You guys definitely want to add a little bit of that. It's not against terms of service. You can have that, but it needs to be under a white background. You shouldn't have any words in it either. So what this listing could have better as far as images is 
the main image should be on a white background and should have that graphic again but should include maybe the packaging of the product or if it's bundled in a way add the bundle supporting images they should have better infographics that talk more about the benefits of the product that will convince the buyer to actually buy your product and then better lifestyle photos as well of people actually using it this one's okay um, but it doesn't look real the bullet points are decent natural beauty painless superb see this is what i'm talking about superb cutting power motor that's not a benefit that's a feature what what does that mean what does a cutting power motor mean to the customer what it should say is something like clean eyebrow cuts every time because that's the outcome of using the product that's the benefit of it by using this product you will have really clean eyebrows oh look at this product description color purple white is a good christmas gift What does that even mean, man? This product description needs some EBC, not white is a good Christmas gift. Review cam, man. They only have a three and a half star rating and three reviews total. It's not very convincing. It's not letting the customer know that they can trust your product. We want them to trust it. So clearly this is a shitty product. So how do we optimize your listing? Number one, make sure you use Cerebro to look up your competitors and get all of their keywords that they're making money from. Put it into your listing. Put it into the title, the features, the description, and the backend keywords. That way you can show up for that product. Tag that with magnets so that you can find more of your relevant keywords. Don't be putting in keywords that aren't the same. If I'm trying to sell an eyebrow epilator, I'm not going to put toenail clipper into my listing. I'm gonna put eyebrow epilator everywhere. Once you have all those keywords, take all of that, put it into scribbles right here. Just for the simplicity of this video, let's say that's all of our keywords right there. When we hit apply, all the keywords are gonna come out. You need to make sure that's in your listing. So if you type it in, eyebrow, it'll cross it out. Not only does it want you to include the word itself, but phrases. So not just the word eyebrow, not just the word trimmer, but eyebrow trimmer in one phrase because Amazon is going to rank you for that. Not only do they want to see that you have that word, that specific word in your listing, but also the specific phrase in your listing. So make sure it's in there. Affiliator. So boom. So you can see everything has been crossed out except for that eyebrow trimmer, but you get the point. You get all your keywords in there and you make sure that's all in your title. I recommend you type out your title first and your bullet points first and then clean it up and see what keywords you need to add to your listing. We don't want to just stuff our listing with a bunch of keywords. We want to make sure it flows and makes sense, but that's just the first part. That's the surface layer, making sure that you have the appropriate keywords in your title, features, and everywhere in your listing, your backend as well. So if you got that out of the way, great. Now we want to go and evaluate the pictures. Make sure you have seven or more images. I'm talking about one main and I recommend three infographs and three lifestyles. Boom, you got seven there. The image needs to be on a white background. So we're talking about white background here, but add something, add some spice to it, add some graphic design, but still keep the background white. Add your custom product packaging. It's gonna look super high class. Make sure you always upload pictures that are at least a thousand by a thousand in dimension. Use up all of your bullets, all five of them, and talk about those benefits more. We're trying to sell to these people, not just talk to them. We want to sell to them. Ooh, get that enhanced brand content. Get it, get it, get it. If you can, get it. Again, in my course, I teach you guys exactly how you can get enhanced brand content without brand registry. And if you don't want to do it that way, there's a way to get brand registry in like two weeks without waiting nine to 12 months for a trademark to approve and it's all through Amazon. Get your reviews, okay? Ask your friends, ask your family, ask friends of friends, ask family of family, get them to review your product and get 10 people. But ask around as best as you can. If you can't, use the Amazon Early Reviewer Program. That's gonna be on a separate video, but Amazon has a program where they help you get reviews. So when we have these great photos, a great title, all of our keywords in our features, and we have that enhanced brand content, oh boy, then our listing is fully optimized at its peak, at its best, and it's ready to make you sales. So that's the best way you guys can optimize your listing is by using Helium 10. 
checking out your evaluation score, see what you're missing, and just implementing all of that. Use Cerebro and Magnet to pick up on your keywords, then use Scribbles to implement all the great keywords. Don't cheap out on some good photos, man. I'm telling you, they're a game changer. So before I end this video, make sure you guys smash that like button for me because it really, really helps. Trust, I'm trying to grow this channel, trying to expose it some more and help you guys and help more people out. So that would definitely help me and make me feel better. So go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoyed this content. If you ever have questions, guys, just leave them in the comments. Just throw them all in the comments. Don't be messaging me. Throw them in the comments so I can interact with you guys there. That's where I prefer to interact with you guys. So thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And of course, go get that money.